The Mississippi will one day submerge the wreck again, but until then, it's giving people a glimpse. Mississippi River Water Level Reveals a Terrifying Secret The Mississippi River is known all over the world as one of the most popular geographical features of both Canada and America. It is the second longest river in all of North America and has the third largest river basin in the whole world. But after record droughts in Minnesota, which is the river's source, the mighty Mississippi River has shrunk to record low levels and it's scarily becoming a shadow of itself. The low water levels have now revealed a treasure trove of previously unseen artifacts to archaeologists and this has brought some of its biggest hidden secrets to the fore. Curious to find out answers to the terrifying secrets that have been revealed by the river? Stay tuned. The Mississippi Basin, which spans 1.2 million square miles across 31 states and two Canadian provinces and accounts for 41% of the continental United States, has recently been hit hard by drought. With the third largest river basin in the world, only the river basins of the Amazon and Congo are superior to the Mississippi. The river is also significant because it's home to a variety of animals living along it, including at least 260 different fish species. Approximately half of the fish species found in the Mississippi River can be seen at St. Anthony Falls, the sole significant waterfall of the Mississippi, which makes up around 25% of North America's total fish species. The currents, pools, and backwaters in this section of the river provide a habitat for a wide variety of fish species. However, due to the severe drought and the river reaching historic lows, its aquatic population has become grossly depleted. Other aftermaths of the river's receding waters include a reduction in drinking water for several communities and a disruption in the cargo supply of grains to several states. This has resulted in shortages and increased costs for Americans who are already facing inflation. If the drought continues, climate experts predict that Mississippi will break its previous low water crisis record, set in 1988. In certain areas of Tennessee, there were even startling recordings that showed the river almost completely hollowed out, with deep lengths of the riverbed visible on both sides and little pools of water running through the center. After water flows decreased to just 700 cubic feet per second, the city of St. Cloud declared that it was closing the second unit of the hydroelectric dam. The city claims that this is the first time since the Great Drought of 1988 that the dam has had to be entirely shut down. A growing body of evidence indicates that the droughts that have caused the Mississippi River's waters to recede are directly related to the combustion of fossil fuels, which has increased global temperatures, increasing evaporation, and exacerbating droughts. But one unprecedented event that might now be overshadowing all other devastating consequences of the river drying up is the mysteries that have sprung up from the areas that were previously hidden by the Mississippi. One of the most important deep water secrets revealed by the river's drop in water levels is the relic of an old ship that sank into the river several years ago. The low water levels near Baton Rouge, Louisiana at the beginning of October made the old sunken ship visible. According to the Associated Press, archaeologists think that these relics were from a ferry that went down in the late 19th or early 20th century. According to news articles from the State Times archives, an archaeologist for the state of Louisiana, Colin McGimsey, believes the ship is the Brook Hill Ferry, which operated until it sank in a storm in 1915 and carried passengers and possibly horse-drawn wagons across the Mississippi. A few tiny pieces of it were discovered in shallow waters in the 1990s, but the majority of the ship remained underwater until recently. However, at that time, only the very tops of the sides could be seen because the vessel was fully covered in mud and there was muck all around it. Even though there wasn't much of the ferry exposed at the time, the state had since recognized the ferry as an archaeological site in the early 1990s. As expected, the discovery of the sunken Brookhill Ferry sparked a wave of national coverage. It was first discovered in early October by a bystander who saw the century-old wooden boat downriver. Locals had been so taken with the site that the Missouri Department of Conservation issued a warning for tourist safety after the discovery drew so many visitors to the island near Wittenberg the traffic clogged the two-lane highways. The intrigue around the ferry was what alerted researchers to the discovery. To make the most of the opportunity to see the ferry before the water levels rise once more, experts are currently working to chronicle the ferry, including the materials and construction methods utilized to build it. 
it has given humans a chance to discover more about shipbuilding in that period. However, one of the research experts named McGimsey revealed that while the discovery is fascinating, the level of public curiosity has surprised him. He believed that in the grand scheme of things, the ferry was not that noteworthy historically, and so he was shocked that by the end of October, there were more than 1,300 stories online about it. McGimsey, however, speculated that because the ferry was one of the first significant discoveries made during the Mississippi River's low point, the early images provided a visual representation of the river's dryness, which piqued people's interest. According to him, the low water is a rare occurrence for the majority of people, and everything that came with it was intriguing and caused a stir with the local populace. Drought-stricken, the Mississippi River's dropping waters also resulted in another, more horrifying find. On the banks of the Parched River on Saturday, a mother and her family were looking for rocks when they came across some human remains. According to Scotty Meredith, chief medical examiner for Coahoma County, the remains included a lower jawbone, rib bones, and a few unidentified bone fragments. Because of the extremely low water levels, Crystal Foster, the person who discovered the remains, told journalists that she felt it was only a matter of time before human remains were uncovered. The Mississippi find comes after other sets of human remains were found in recent months in Lake Mead in Nevada, the nation's largest reservoir. Several skeletal remains were discovered in the lake over the summer, and the lake's level also dropped to historically low levels due to the drought brought on by climate change. Experts believe that as human-caused climate change warms the planet and worsens droughts, receding rivers may reveal more historical artifacts. According to Jennifer Burns, a forensic anthropologist who works with the Clark County Coroner's Office, which examines deaths in Lake Mead, diminishing bodies of water could be a godsend for professionals tasked with solving missing persons cases. This is even though findings that were long submerged can be bleak. Burns was quick to point out that from a forensic standpoint, a massive body of water evaporating was great for the Clark County Coroner's Office. In a previous interview with Insider Magazine, forensic anthropologist Eric Bartlink of California State University's Chico Human Identification Lab also shared this view. He said that the receding water levels had revealed remains that had been hidden beneath the surface for many years. He said that it was just going to show more things that were in the water that we typically wouldn't have access to very readily. For forensic scientists, it provides a better chance of finding missing people and a better chance that certain incidents will be solved based on newly discovered evidence from the dry parts of the Mississippi. Additionally, the river's receding shoreline is exposing the river's dark past. Old items are coming to light, and certain natural features can now be seen for the first time in many years. Before the water levels rise and engulf it once more, people are swarming to the river to see for themselves. Because of the influx of attention, the Mississippi River is swiftly developing into a heyday for antique hunters who've come from all over the country to find something valuable in the riverbed. Riley Bryant, who has made artifact hunting his full-time job, works for the metal-detecting retailer History Seekers as well as the American Digger magazine. He earns some additional income via TikTok, where he goes by the name Relic Riley. Brian's passion for antique hunting began when he was 11 years old and received his first metal detector. His hundreds of thousands of followers on social media at the age of 21 demonstrate the public's interest in lost artifacts, which started way before his videos of the low river became popular. Byron has lived in Memphis all of his life, and in October, the river levels there reached a record low. Brian has never explored the river at low levels. The last time the river came close to the record was in 2012, the same year he acquired his first metal detector. Rather than the discovery of the box plate, Brian was surprised by the general ignorance of the fact that the Civil War era trade along the waterway had made Civil War era artifacts commonplace. Tower Rock, a limestone rock in Missouri that dates back 400 million years, can only be seen during low tide. To the dismay of the Missouri Department of Conservation, visitors to the area climbed the boulder and crossed the recently exposed sandbar to get a better look at the landmark. Bryant also observed that perhaps the discoveries are fascinating because to a majority of people from Missouri, the river holds some kind of enchantment. However, with the global climate deteriorating and record droughts, it's expected that what was once a once-in-a-generation occurrence will become more common. 
According to the Federal Drought Monitor, 85% of the country is currently experiencing drought, and climate predictions indicate that both drought and flooding will become more frequent and severe. Current climate predictions have also shown that the drought will continue to have an impact on politics, shipping, tourism, and agriculture. So, tell us, do you think more fascinating discoveries will be found in the river with time, or has what's already been found been enough to pique your interest? Let us know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more and click the bell icon so you can get notified whenever a new video drops.